to light it up. It's Maryland in their home white. Virginia in their road blue. We're ready to go here. Ted Valentine, Roger Ayers, and Mike Stewart are our officials tonight. Here's our series history last year. How about that overtime win? 80 to 78. Mike Gary has elected to go with his big lineup. Last, last game he went with the small lineup. He put Nick inside. So this is their regular big lineup with Nick Canamelli at the small forward. And as we expected, uh, DJ's guarding Sean. First shot of the game is a three by Adrian Joseph. Joseph's averaging over 10 points a game, and he gets it started for Virginia. He's from San Fernando, Trinidad. Mike, this Virginia team, they just have a different attitude now. If you'd have told me they had five wins by now, I would have told you you were crazy in the league. Strawberry, that's a three. And Kane, well, we told you he's the leading offensive rebounder. He's number five overall in the ACC. Singletary's first shot. <laughs> Virginia's hit two threes to start this game. Singletary and Adrian Joseph have the Cavaliers up 6 nothing. Well, you mentioned Maryland three straight losses, but we understand how disruptive Chris McCray's loss has been for the Terrapins. But what a great start for Virginia. Everybody's talked about how surprising they are. This team's for real, Bobby, these Cavaliers. They are, Mike. I've watched them on TV. This is the first time I've seen them personally. But I tell you what, they, they have made a believer out of me, particularly their win on the road at Virginia Tech, the, the win over North Carolina at home. And this guy with the basketball, he is doing everything for this team. Reynolds, his first shot. Leaves it short, but Singletary, the offensive rebound. Dave Leto told us he's the heart and the soul of this team. He's playing banged up. He has an injured hip and shoulder. Not letting it bother him at all. He's got five early points. Mike Jones for Maryland. And Maryland's now 0 for their first three shots. And down 8 nothing here to start this game. Let, let's see if Virginia can continue this and, and get a great jump start here. Singletary's body control drawing the foul. Let's get right now to our Pizza Hut scouting report, Bobby. <laughs> well, it's it's pretty easy, you know, for, for uh, the, the Virginia, they have to avoid post-foul trouble. They're not deep inside. For Maryland, they're 0-4-2 now, and I really felt they needed to make some outside shots against the Cavaliers. Well, Maryland blocked by Beckway. That's his specialty. Kaner Medley. Leaves it short. And that's a hell ball. Possession arrow to Virginia. And Gary Williams is living. Gary understands the importance of this game. He cannot let this game get away from him. They normally play great at home. We talked about the three-point shooting from Maryland. And this is why we made it one of our keys to the game. And right now, they are cold. Not a good way to start. Tell you what, though, no, Gary Williams is hot. No timeout by Gary. They usually play great at home, so I expect things to turn around here pretty soon. Reynolds is open. Look at Kane with the offensive board. The putback and one. Jason Kane. What a year he's having, the junior from Philadelphia. Unbelievable, Mike. Val is going to be on this. That's his first. Well, that was a nice look there by J.R. Reynolds and, and J.R. having a great year. But, Mike, you mentioned this guy. He's, he's very thin, but he's tall. And, Mike, he's one of the most improved players in this league, Jason Kane. And there you see Dave Leto, the coach of the Cavaliers, in his first season. Kane, last game out against Wake Forest, had a double-double, 13 points and 10, 10 rebounds. What a job Leto has done to get this team energized, turn around, and believing in themselves when nobody else would. 
You're absolutely right. You know, Pete Gillen left some talent, but this guy has come in, and, and right now, Mike, he's my ACC coach of the year. I watched him and shoot around today, and I was really impressed. You talk about being livid. Not he's not happy at all with the start. Gary Williams, you saw those 348 wins. That ties him with Lefty Grizzell, all-time winner here at Maryland. And Kane makes good on the three-point play. And Virginia now up 11 to nothing. Gary has not gone to his bench yet. Missed his first couple of shots, so has Nick Kaner Medley. Misses again, that time everything. And Soroya down with it for the Cavaliers. Reynolds quickly the other way. Oh my goodness! What a shot! There's Joseph with the follow. He's got five and it's now 13 to nothing. And Who no, would have thought? No timeout, no substitute. Gary Williams going to stay right with it. Did you see J.R. Reynolds with that shot? That would have gone. Well, Mike Jones gets it going for Maryland. He is a great three-point shooter. Shoots better from three than he does from two. And, and, and Mike, he he's really has to come into his own. He's got to take advantage of this new opportunity with Chris, Mille Chris McRae academically gone for the year. Mike Jones really has got to take advantage and do some great outside shooting. It took Maryland three minutes and 50 seconds to score their first bucket. Knocked out of bounds by Jones. It'll be Virginia's ball when we come back. It has been all Virginia here to start this game. 15.43 to go first half. Cavaliers are up 10. Servicing your vehicle at a Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer is better because we know your car inside and out. Bumper to bumper, everything from the tires up, every nut and bolt. From your brakes to your tires, batteries, whatever you need, we are in the tire business. Ford has a 30-day price guarantee that if you can get your tires cheaper, Ford will match or beat that price. We are your one-stop shopping store for your vehicle. We're better. We're proving it, and we want you to be the judge. Many of the designer suits that we sell for $200 are made with the same quality and care as those that others sell for twice as much. Need a suit? Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Need more ice time? At midnight on game nights, tune in Bruins in 2 for a special two-hour replay of the game. Keep track of your black and gold around the clock with Bruins in 2. Tonight's ACC matchup between the University of Virginia and the University of Maryland is being brought to you by RBRC, by Southeast Toyota, by Hardee's, and by Dodge. Well, Virginia shooting lights out to start this game. They are 5 for 9, 55%. Maryland just 1 for 7 here. And Virginia with a 10-point lead and the ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Kane. <laughs> How about Jason Kane? Without, both his shots. Without a doubt, one of, one of the most improved players. Now, Mike, Maryland, this is where they cannot panic. Now, DJ Strawberry, he's the emotional leader of the team. He has got to get them together and just say, guys, relax. Kaner Medley's open. And Reynolds down with the rebound. Virginia getting the loose balls right now. Reynolds open at the foul line. Look who's got the rebound. Kane. Now, and he's fouled. Now Mike Gary will go to his bench. He's not going to tolerate that. He's just not going to tolerate uh, second chance uh, rebounds by Virginia. So Gary will go to his bench. Gary will not panic. Gary's been around forever. Virginia, yeah, Virginia's got four offensive rebounds already, and Kane 
already with five points goes to the line. Jason Kane over his last 15 games has been averaging almost 10 points a game and eight and a half rebounds. Sterling Ledbetter's into the game along with Will Bowers. Bowers 7-1. There's Sterling Ledbetter who started the game Sunday against NC State. Lorena Spikalowskis, good-looking freshman into the game for Virginia. Along with Mamadi Dayani, another freshman from Potomac, Maryland. And now, now we have a little change. Now, with Ledbetter in the game, DJ now goes to the two-guard position. So let's see if Ledbetter or Bowers can give the Terrapins a lift. How about Strawberry on the drive and one? He's the guy. He, he's the emotional leader. This is a nice move, but he realizes it's not panic time, but obviously they need to get something going here. That's and DJ Strawberry has been scoring of late. He had 14 points against State. He's been in double figures his last 12 games. Now here comes the Maryland press, Mike, and this might get them back in the basketball game. Let's see how uh, Virginia handles this press. Good job. Reynolds into the fourth court. Ledbetter is on him. Here's Singletary. And Maryland's best defender, DJ Strawberry, guarding him. Here's Mamadi Diani just into the game. Reynolds is open. He's dangerous. My double, double post screens gave him a wide open shot. You, you got to give Kane and Mika uh, Lapkus tremendous credit for setting those screens to give him that look. Strawberry, nice pass to Gist. Would have counted. Foul is on Reynolds, and that's going to be his second. See, here you see the screen. They see that one, two, and now you see the wide open shot. That's called a double staggered screen. And that's part of their offense. The post will do a lot of screening. This, this is a perimeter team, Mike. J.R. Reynolds just one for six, but that was a big three. Gist has two shots. He's a 71% free throw shooter on the year. Billy Campbell is in. Soroye returns. Jason Kane gets a rest. He's really gone hard these first six minutes. I love this guy, Giss. I think he has all ACC potential in him. Gary Williams said he played the best game of his career last time out against NC State. Giss had 13 points. And that defense has just forced a turnover, Bobby. You were talking about it. It's called, it's called the diamond uh, press, and that's one of Gary Williams' trademarks. And they get a turnover now if they get a score and get this crowd behind him that can get back in this game quickly. And Gist, wide open, nails the jumper. He's got four points, and you're right, the crowd has come to life. And now Gary will keep the pressure on him. Singletary drives on Ledbetter. Sterling Ledbetter, great defense for Maryland. Remember Ledbetter a year ago played so well down the stretch for yep. Maryland and in their run in the NIT. When John Gilchrist uh, was injured and had to go to the go to the bench and eventually left to the NBA. Ledbetter. Five seconds on the shot clock now. Ledbetter leaves it short. And Soroya had it, and then just lost it out of bounds. Too bad. Tough break for the Cavaliers. When you play defense like that, you deserve that possession. A Maryland basket here would put the lead in single digits. Virginia going zone on the out of bounds play. And look for Maryland to try to get Nick, Nick a little good look here in the corner, possibly. Medley has not scored here in this game of yet. Again, they're being patient. Kind of hard to get a shot. And Giss loses it out of bounds. Turnover to Virginia. Tell you, Dave Wado, Mike, he's got Billy Campbell in the game, uh, who's probably his 11th man. He's got a lot of confidence in this basketball team. 
Campbell will generally play three to five minutes a game. He walked onto this team and has now earned some playing time. From Atlanta, Georgia. I understand he started out going to Bobby Crimmins basketball camps. Tell you what. Singletary off balance. I think they're going to get Bowers over the back. First foul on Will Bowers, the junior from Hanover, Maryland. Maryland's having trouble fighting over these post screens. Derrickman foul on the 31, Will Bowers, his first, fourth on the team. You see DJ Strawberry Returning getting a blow here. I can tell you that it won't be for long, though. No. He's a guy they need on the court. Mike, uh, you know, we, we talk so much about the absence of Chris McCray and to lose a player of his caliber late in the season, it's, it, it's very disruptive. Now, I know after he, they left, they lost him, they went on the road and beat Georgia Tech, but since then they have lost three games to, against tough opponents. Knocked out by Mike Jones, it will belong to Virginia. And to catch you up, Chris McCray was averaging over 15 Returning points a game and lost to academics. And, you know, I respect Maryland, Mike. You know, it, it sends a message to all the young people out there. You want to play a game, you want to play basketball, do your academics. If you can't do your academics, you're not going to play. And, and there's nobody to blame but Chris. Chris got to look at himself, and he lost focus in the classroom. He's Singletary. Golaskis with his first touch. Got it! And one! Well, it's a good-looking freshman. Lorenas Mikolauskas out of Lithuania. Went to high school at the Blue Ridge School in Charlottesville. One thing about Lithuania, Mike, there's so many great players. They come over to this country, and Mike, they're hungry. And this guy, I mean, he's a monster. He's physical. He's strong. Great size. His only trouble this year has been staying out of foul trouble. And that's something all freshmen learn on the defensive end. We've seen him in several games getting some early trouble. And this is uh, Virginia's pressure. One, two, two. Full court pressure. Goes back into a two, three zone. Again, Tanner Medley still has not scored in this game. Tanner Medley has been lights out the last couple of games. Pass a little too tall for Diani. And that will bring us to an official timeout. 11.40 to go for a tap. Cavaliers still up double digits by 13. Virginia leads Maryland 23 to 10. Ted Ferguson. Hey. Think you can handle Chad Johnson one-on-one? -on -one? Aren't you standing a little too close? Well, now you can bring Chad into your home with Fathead. You calling me a Fathead? Fathead is a big and bold wall graphic that's easy to put up. Just peel and place in any home or office. Man, I didn't know I looked that good. Printed on strong, durable vinyl, you can move Fathead over and over without damaging walls. Visit Fathead.com to find all of your favorite Fathead teams and players. Officially licensed by the National Football League and Players, Inc. Hey, what are you looking at? Presenting the Angler Dementis, commonly known as the Mad Fisherman, <laughs> native to New England. They get lost. Everything's green around here. This rare breed is often heard before seen. Yankee fan! Seldom alone, he stalks large prey with a unique style. <laughs> and he does it yeah. without scaring the fish. Observe the Mad Fisherman for yourself on Nesson. Charlie Moore Outdoors, sponsored by Obashan Hardware, Sunday on Nesson. There's a new league in town, ACC, the Atlantic Coast Conference, and we've got the hoops on Nesson. Twelve top teams, and BC's one of them. Dudley trying to finish, he does. The speed from Boston College getting up the floor. It's hardcore hoops, ACC style, on Nesson. Sunday night, it's an ACC doubleheader, starting with UMass at 5.30 on Nesson. It's a college road trip, Nesson style. Ah! We're dropping the puck on your weekend with Friday Night Ice. Center pass, score! Be true to your school every Friday night with Nesson's Hockey East Game of the Week. Let's go! Friday nights just got cooler. This week, UMass Lowell, NU at 7 on Nesson. 
Tonight's Virginia-Maryland matchup is being brought to you by the official corporate partners of the ACC. Bud Light, Chrysler, Altel, and by Food Lion. Back in our nation's capital, just outside of it, in College Park in Virginia, on top of Maryland, 23 to 10, 11.40 to go, first half. Our Southeast Toyota trivia question, what three former Cavs are on the ACC's 50th anniversary team? Let's give you one hint. We'll have the answer a little later. Here's Gist turn around. Nikolauskas. The rebound for the Cavaliers. Mike, this is not Maryland basketball. You know how well I know Gary and I've watched. This is just not Maryland basketball. Bobby, the Terrapins have been out rebounded 13 to two so far in this first half. I haven't seen Maryland struggle like this in a, in a long time. Travis Garrison into the game for the first time, number four. That foul's gonna be on Ledbetter. It's gonna be his first. Jason Kane back in. Next Maryland foul, Virginia will be in the bonus. As you can see, Gary Williams is not happy. That ball went off the foot of Adrian Joseph. Fifth turnover here of the half. Two turnovers in a row, two bad passes by Sean Singletary. And you know, when you have a lead like this, the last thing you want to do is um, have unforced errors. Jones, that's a D3. Garrison just into the game with the offensive board. And if they could get some production out of Travis Garrison, really would help this Maryland team. And, and Garrison has a lot of experience, and, and what a great shot. The senior out of DeMatha could give them the lift that they desperately need. Only played 12 minutes in the last game against State and scored one bucket. But he's had some great games in his career, including against Virginia. Garrison the rebound against Maryland last year in one game. Garrison had 20 points. Here come the Turks. Mike, the talent's here. They're just out of sync. They're in a bad slump, but there is enough talent here where Maryland basketball can get back in their rhythm. They are out of their rhythm. Largest Virginia lead has been 14. Maryland has just gotten it back down into single digits. A long way to go in this game. Nikolauskas, oh, to Garrison and gets in the block to shot. That's his 30th block of the season. You, you've got to love Nikolauskas. You've got to love his attitude, his toughness. But how about Gist? He has a 36-inch vertical leap, and he showed it right there. G Gary's going to rebuild this program around that guy right there. He's having a great recruiting class, but you're right. This, this is a main player for this team. Mamadi Diani with the ball for Virginia. Tries to beat Mikulaskis, and look at the hustle of Travis Garrison. There's a lot of pride in this program, Mike. You're talking about a team, national championship, two years ago, ACC championship, Gary Williams, one of the great coaches ever in the ACC. They're, they're in a very unusual position right now, but this is because they're just out of rhythm. And why are they out of rhythm? Yes, they lost Chris McCray. Reynolds had to take that shot as the shot clock was running down. And Maryland now with a huge opportunity. Garrison to fade away. There we go, Mike. Travis Garrison has come alive and added some spark to this team off the bench. Garrison, the senior from Suitland, Maryland. He's had an up and down season. Garrison has triggered a 6-0 run. They've done this all with, without Nick Kaner Medley. Maryland's coach Gary Williams talked about what he's meant to this team. He's been playing sick the last game. Yeah, I felt bad for him because he got sick, um, probably something he ate uh, Saturday night and he couldn't sleep, and then we had to play at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. And uh, Nick still had 10 rebounds, and you could tell it was really a struggle just to move, and, you know, he was able to do that. So, 
You know, you as a coach, you, you build respect for players, not just on wins and losses, but, you know, what they put out there on the, on the court for the team. And, you know, Nick as a senior this year has certainly, you know, given us what we need as, se as a senior to really lead the younger guys. And this is first half scoring. He didn't score in the first half against NC State. He hasn't scored here tonight. But he did end up with 10 points and 10 rebounds against the Wolfpack. Good job by Jason Kane. Nick Cannon Medley has taken this team on his back. 33 points against Georgia Tech on the road. Reynolds. And again, it is deflected out off a of Cavalier. Here comes we're, we're at the Comcast Center in College Park, Maryland. It is Virginia and Maryland. Mike Hogwood here along with Bobby Cremins for ACC College Hoops. Maryland scored three field goals in their first nine minutes and 20 seconds. They've had three field goals in their last minute and 20 seconds to get back into this game. That would have been huge. But look at the offensive board by Ebekwe. And Kane, Dave Lato told me he just has a nose for the ball. I love the effort by Ebekwe, and that's what Gary Williams wants. I'm starting to see some Maryland basketball here. Four rebounds here in the first half with Jason Kane. That one went out off of Kane's hand. Maryland again a chance to cut in the lead. There's a good look at Jason. Rebounding in his last 15 games. Over eight and a half rebounds a game. Gary's calling the two play. Let's see what this is. You used to know all those things, didn't you? I, I did, you're right. Garrison. He has really been a spark for this Maryland team. He's three for three at six points. And now we're seeing some post scoring by Maryland. Great job, Travis Garrison. Get back in here, Mike. It's been over six games since Travis Garrison has scored in double figures. Former starter on this team. As we said, he's been really up and down this year. And down as of late. Got a holding foul on Mike Jones. Are they in the bonus? They will be now, you're right. Virginia will be in the bonus at the line when we come back. 7.35 to go first half. Maryland has gotten back in this game. From the files of W.B. Mason's Low Price Assurance Detectives. I have this thing, Doc. This uncontrollable need to save money. That's not so strange. But it's other people's money I need to save. It's a crime when people waste money. By the way, what did you pay for that pad? Those pens. And what about this phone? We're not here to discuss my problems. Sorry, Doc. <laughs> Besides, I save money at a super office store. If you're getting married, we'll rent you a tuxedo for as little as 50 bucks. Which is pretty good, considering her dress probably costs as much as your car. Rent four tuxedos, and the grooms is free. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Tune in 30 minutes before game time for Granite City Electric's Face Off, Nesson's new Bruins pregame show. Featuring interviews, matchups, analysis, and more, Nesson drops the puck early with Granite City Electric's Face Off. Cheeseburger plate. Cheeseburger plate. Fish plate. Fish plate. Hey, how you doing? How are you? How about you? What do you want? I'll have the Bruins plate. Bruins plate. Bruins plate. Help Mass Youth Hockey by getting your own Boston Bruins license plate at any Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicle Office. After registry fees, all money will go to fund important programs of Mass Youth Hockey throughout the state. Bruins plate. So how's your Bruins plate? It's a little chewy. It's a college road trip, Nesson style. Ah! We're dropping the puck on your weekend with Friday Night Ice. Center attack. Be true to your school every Friday night with Nesson's Hockey East Game of the Week. Let's go! Friday nights just got cooler. This week, UMass Lowell, NU at 7 on Nesson. A one-time 14-point Virginia lead is now just 5. Want to answer our Southeast Toyota trivia question? 
what three former Cavaliers are on the ACC's 50th anniversary team. Well, you know Ralph Sampson's got to be on that team. Jeff Lamp, Barry Parkhill were on that 50th anniversary team. Yeah, Jeff and Barry, two, two great wing players. They had great size. They're about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Of course, Ralph is seven footer. And the one guy I thought I might guess and I was wrong on, I thought uh, Wally Walker might yep, be on that. Yep. Wally was a great player. J.R. Reynolds breaks a scoring drought of four minutes and 33 seconds. Well, Mike, Virginia's not used to being in this position. You know, they're not used to being going on the road and being up 13, 14 points. Reynolds, almost an 80% free throw shooter. It's both. Returning the Cavaliers, 21, Tunji Zeroye. For the Terrapins, 22, Nick Gator Medley. Travis Garrison stayed on the floor. He has been the spark for Maryland in this comeback. He really has. Here is Garrison. His first miss. That's his forte to shoot shooting. Reynolds. Now Singletary will set the offense for Virginia. Now watch those post guys go screening for the wings. Here they come. We saw where Virginia missed his last four shots. They started out. Lights out. Right out to an 11-0 lead in this game. Joseph, great ball fake. You called it, Mike. It was a great ball fake. He got Nick in his, on his feet. Eight points now in the first Joseph. half for Adrian Joseph. That was Virginia's fourth three-pointer. The back one. He'll try to get three the old-fashioned way, and one. Mike, Gary has found an opening in the heart of the zone. It's obvious that uh, Virginia is extending their zone, and they're, they're just finding openings right in the middle, and this is just a beautiful play by a Beckway. I love a Beckway. I, I love his talent. He has a lot of heart. He's a little inconsistent. Did not start the game against NC State on Sunday. First time all year he hasn't started. He's a great kid. He's an honest student from Nigeria. Are they trying to decide who the foul is on? Oh, they're checking whether it was a three-pointer, whether Adrian Joseph's shot was a three down at the other end. Was his foot on the line or not? That was awfully close. It sure was. It would have been Virginia's fourth three if it, if it stays. And our officials are looking at it right now, Roger Ayers and Mike Stewart. Adrian Joseph, a 36% three-point shooter. He'd already had one to his credit tonight, five points before hitting that last shot. Now watch, there's his foot. It's behind the line. Yep, give it to him. I think they'll give it to him. No, but see, yep, they gave it to him. Uh, so the three stands. And Joseph with eight points. The sophomore from San Fernando Trinidad. Got a few foreign plays in this game tonight, Mike, and I, I really respect these foreign young men who come over to our country and, and take advantage of this great opportunity. They're great kids. I mentioned uh, Akine, a, a, just a, an honest student. Um, and I really respect their attitudes. Yeah, he's from Carson, California, but his parents are from Nigeria. Akine Abekwe. Roy is not a real offensive threat, but he has great athleticism and has really improved on the defensive end. But those, those post guys, they're like bowling balls, just knocking people down. Shot clock now at five. Singletary's going to have to hurry. Kane, baseline. Look at Singletary come up with a loose ball. I love when he has the basketball. He can settle this team down. He's what I call a pure point guard. I, I like his, his very smart player. Only a sophomore. And he got, you know, with all the great point guards in the league last year, of course, Chris Paul, Jared Jack, Raymond Felton. This guy learned a lot about point guard play from those guys last year. I think he's a Bobby Crimmins type of point guard. And he can play for me in a second. Jones rebounds the Virginia Miss. Pass a little too tall for Travis Garrison. Tough play. Tough, tough play. 
And Garrison's going to get a blow. James Gist in to replace him. James Gist for Travis Garrison. Garrison, who hit his first three shots, leaves with six points here in the first half. After every turnover with the violation, you cannot run the baseline. Gary's going to put the pressure on. This is his diamond press, and they want the ball. Now, Sean's out of the game, so JR's going to have to move to the point. And JR does a nice job of receiving the basketball and setting up the offense. Mamadi Diani came in, and he'll play the two guard with Reynolds moving to the point. Here's Diani. Diani's going to take the three. Kaner Medley had it knocked out of his hands by Jason Kane. It'll belong to Maryland. Maryland has certainly had opportunities to really get back in this game. And let's see if they go into the middle again against this zone. Maryland's been out rebounded 18 to 9 here in this first half. You got Nick Flash. Look at all the flash into the middle. Nick Kaner Medley still has not scored. Gist had that shot altered and then knocked it out of bounds. It'll belong to the Cavaliers. Might have forced it a little bit. You want to stay in here? Pop off one more time. Here comes that oh, pressure. They worked on this in the shoot around today. If you're going to play Maryland, you have to work against their diamond press. I know you had a secret play to beat this press. Okay. You haven't told very, anybody. Very yet. simple. Recruit Kenny Anderson or Stephen Marbury. They have no problems against this press. Good I'm ball away from him. Good ball pressure. Reynolds turns it over. Offensive foul on J.R. Reynolds, and that is going to be his third. That's going to hurt. You see, he's not a natural point guard, and with Sean Singletary out of the game, and now Billy Campbell comes in. This is a tough time for Virginia right here. Reynolds with five points in the first half, and he's a guy they really need him, not only for his defense, but for his offense. He hit that game winner Saturday against Wake Forest. They gotta get Sean back in, here he comes. Maryland needs a score here. Jones way off balance. Not a good shot, Mike. It's been one and done this entire half for Maryland. Well, the opportunities here for Maryland to get right back in this. And don't forget, Duke's on deck. This is a must win for Maryland at home if they want to go to the NCAAs this year. Well, you were right, Bobby, that Virginia has given Maryland the opportunity. You saw their shooting stats. Look at Billy Campbell handling the basketball. Gary Williams wanted a five-second call there. Another opportunity for the Terps. Strawberry. Count the bucket. Great drive by DJ Strawberry. They had offensive possession by the Cavaliers. And DJ capitalizes on a great drive. When we come back, DJ Strawberry will be at the line. A chance to cut this Virginia lead down to five. I'm an electronics engineer for a corporation that handles various government research projects. I'm responsible for about five or six technicians, and it's a pretty good position. I'm also a musician, and I teach guitar, and I play in a band. I used to work about seven days a week for very little pay, so I decided to go to ITT Tech. I had good teachers who guided me and taught me how to be professional. My grandfather is the most influential person in my life. He raised me right and taught me never to quit. My two passions in life are music and engineering. I wake up every day knowing that everything that I have is mine and I've worked hard for it. That's an accomplishment that makes you feel like the biggest man on earth. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, School of Electronics Technology, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-ITT-TECH or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid programs for those who qualify. Call 1-800-ITT-TECH today. Need more ice time? At midnight on game nights, tune in Bruins in Two for a special two-hour replay of the game. Keep track of your black and gold around the clock with Bruins in Two. Every game ends with overtime. 
your Bruins post-game show featuring game analysis, interviews, press conferences, and more. Stay tuned to Nesson, because every game ends with overtime. He is unbeaten and seemingly unstoppable. He is Samoa Joe, the newest phenom in professional wrestling. Now, he battles the phenomenal AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels in a triple threat match for the X Division title. Plus, Christian Cage gets his chance at championship gold when he battles Jeff Jarrett for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. TNA presents Against All Odds, live February 12th on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. Size, power, control, I'll have it all. With a chance to win a brand new Toyota RAV4, you might find it hard to concentrate on anything besides the Toyota sweepstakes. If I win, I'll keep it spotless. <laughs> Go to directtv.com slash viewer circle to register and enter today. Viewer circle, where you get great stuff just for being a DirecTV customer. Tonight's ACC matchup between the University of Virginia and the University of Maryland is being brought to you by Advance Auto Parts, by Lincoln Mercury, and by Pizza Hut. At the Comcast Center, Mike Hawkwood here along with Bobby Crimmins. It's a six-point lead. Maryland's going to the free throw line. Coming up at halftime, that's some exciting things for you. Strawberry. Stay tuned for that. It's Strawberry. Now two for two from the line. Returning to the Cavaliers, number 11, Marinas Mikulauskas, and 34, Sean Singletary. Diani in trouble. Very fortunate, he broke the trap. Offensive foul's gonna be called on Sean Singletary. That's his first. Maryland held its ground there, as we told you, coming up at halftime. We'll have a preview of our ACC Sunday Night Hoops doubleheader this week. Our ACC Player Freshman of the Week. And also, I really like our hometown feel. We'll have uh, a local radio announcement for each team. Call it a couple of the plays in the first half. Medley, his first bucket of the game. And Maryland is within three now. Mike, that's Maryland basketball. That's Kane Melly coming off a low back screen. That's called a flex offense. No help side. That's, that's Maryland basketball. Nick Tanner Manley staying patient. And missed his first three shots now. One for four. That's the closest it's been now since it was 3 nothing to start our game. And it's safe to say that Maryland's back in it on this 7-0 oh, yeah. run. The scary part, Mike, should Maryland go into the locker room with a lead at halftime, I think that would be very discouraging to Virginia, having built this early lead and not even leading at halftime. I think they could be in serious trouble in the second half. Well, you see how the offense has been tough to come by in the last nine minutes for Virginia. Deani leads it short. Virginia turns it over after getting the offensive rebound. Their ninth turnover here in the half. And you, see, you see, he realizes what's on the line here. He realizes um, that the mental attitude should Maryland take the lead after their great, great early start. A three to tie it. Look at Dave Leto. He's gone all the way down to the baseline now. Look at the back way the offensive board. Another one. Jason Kane, I think, the back one all over his back. That's all right. The head. That's what Gary Williams wanted. That's the he he didn't like the start of this basketball game where the Cavaliers were just going to the boards. This is a great effort. You never fault an effort like this. Never. See, Kane's got to once he shoots it, Jason's got to get his body on him. Kane got the rebound, and now he goes to the other end. He'll go to the line. Jason Kane, seven points and six rebounds here in this first half. He is three for three from the foul line. Make it four for four. 
Those are big free throws right there. Again, I, I really feel that that lead going into the locker room is crucial. Dave Leto back on the bench. He walked all the way down to the baseline, standing and watching. Not liking what he was seeing for his Cavaliers. We're now back up five as we approach the two-minute mark here in the first half. And sitting in that zone, and there's that pass to the middle. Strawberry. Fouled on the way up. And Singletary's picked up two quick fouls. They can ill afford to have both Singletary and J.R. Reynolds in foul trouble. You know, it's ironic. What was one of our uh, pregame keys? We said Virginia not getting in post foul trouble. Well, guess what? How about guard foul trouble? How about trouble? guard foul yeah. trouble? And that's why they're sitting in the zone. But let's see what let's see what Dave does. J.R. has three fouls. He can't can't bring J.R. into the game. He's got to probably talk to Sean and tell Sean, look, i got to leave you in, and whatever you do, don't pick up that third foul. But Maryland's going to press. He's keeping his cool. I've known Dave a long time uh, through his mentor, Jim Calhoun, and Dave a long time assistant for uh, Jim Calhoun. And I tell you, Mike, he's doing a fabulous job in his first year in the ACC. Maryland's really hit their free throws in this first half. Six for seven from the line as a team. Got a man wide open. Deani down to Mikulowskis. <laughs> Gary Williams put his hands on his head. They went for the steal, Mike. They gambled, and when you gamble and lose, you got to pay at the other end. Garrison baseline. Well, he's missed his last couple of shots now after hitting his first three. Now the key, Mike, is this guy with the basketball cannot pick up his third foul. Good drive by Singletary. Got the rebound. It's amazing to me how Singletary, after missing those shots, somehow finds a way to get that loose ball. Well, we did a game last year, Mike, on the road at NC State where um, Sean took the last shot of the game. He missed it. He got his own rebound and put in the game winner in Raleigh. And, and you're absolutely right. And that's a gift, Mike. You can't teach that. That's just what we call natural instincts. Three offensive rebounds. Singletary. Singletary doesn't miss many in ACC games. He's an 87% free throw shooter. 34 for 39 coming into the game. That's an ACC play. I love his attitude. I love the way he plays basketball. Both teams have hit their free throws tonight. Virginia 9 for 10. Virginia's number two in the league in free throw percentage. Maryland's number three. Gainer Medlin. And Maryland is going to that offensive glass a little stronger now, and it's paying off for them. They really are. You know, we, uh, Nick got a good look there. And, you know, we talked about Nick, his last game on the road, being, um, being having the flu effects, and I still don't know if Nick is 100%, but they have to have him in there. He, he is... Um, the most versatile player. He's got great experience. And flu or no flu, he, he, his presence is, is vital to this basketball team. Here's one of the best free throw shooters in the nation, Mike Jones. He's only missed two free throws all year. 91% from the line. Big shooter. Came in here with a big time reputation for shooting the three ball. And now again with Chris McCray out, Mike Jones has an opportunity to make a name for himself. Virginia at one time in this half had a 14-point lead. Maryland defense has tightened up considerably. Now be careful here, Sean. I like the way Jason Kane came and helped out. Singletary for three. <laughs> oh, he's a big-time player. <laughs> he used a hot screen. Second three of the half. Got nine points. He's, he's keeping the ACC point guard tradition alive. Garrison fighting for the loose ball, but it goes right to Deani. Joseph. Deani 
puts it back. Maryland, Virginia's going to go into the locker room with the lead, and I think that is crucial to Virginia. Gary Williams thought the Ani palmed the ball, the ball went above his head. Final seconds of the first half. Strawberry. And a foul with just over a second left. Maryland will go to the free throw line for two. Nice call by Gary Williams. The reason Strawberry went to the hole is because Sean Singletary had two fouls. And Sean was really smart. He did not pick up his third, but as you alluded to earlier, the Terps are hitting the offensive boards. Travis Garrison. This guy's a great free throw shooter, too. Fouls on Kane, his first. He jinxed him. Yeah, I, I did. Our last three pointers are all tell three point long distance shot of the game, and it was Sean Singletary, second of the half. Garrison cuts the lead to eight. He's had seven points this half. Oh, that was awfully close. But the first half has come to an end. It's a game of runs, and Maryland missed their last seven shots. Virginia able to score at the end of the half and take an eight-point lead here in College Park. Sports news program focused on getting you the scores and bringing viewers the stories behind the teams. It's not just about the result, it's also about the drama that unfolds leading up to the final score. Nesson Sports Desk, the first word in New England sports. Nesson Sports Desk, your sports, your teams, first and fast. Nesson Sports Desk, at a time that's right for you. So how's your growing play? It's a little chewy. Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 57 on Direct TV Pay Per View. This February on Direct TV Pay Per View, a full month of love. I love him. I love you too. I love you. I'm sorry. 24 hours a day. That's very impressive. For 28 days. It's going to be a wonderful show. All your favorite love stories. Generally, I like it. At a price you're really gonna love. 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 That's what I think. Romance begins on Channel 125, Direct TV Pay Per View, baby. Who says you can't buy love? It was just a minor misunderstanding. Presenting the Angler Dementis, commonly known as the Mad Fisherman. <laughs> Native to New England. You get lost. Everything's green around him. This rare breed is often heard before seen. Yankee fan. Seldom alone. He stalks large prey with a unique style. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And he does it yeah. without scaring the fish. Observe the mad fisherman for yourself on Nesson. Charlie Moore Outdoors. Sponsored by Obashan Hardware. Sunday on Nesson. Every game ends with overtime. Your Bruins post-game show featuring game analysis, interviews, press conferences, and more. Stay tuned to Nesson, because every game ends with overtime. ACC matchup between the University of Virginia and the University of Maryland is being brought to you by Dodge, by Jack in the Box, and by Jeep. And as we start the second half here, keep in mind, Sean Singletary with two fouls, J.R. Reynolds with three. And the first shot of the second half, rebounded by Kane. Boy, Jason Kane has had a great day on the boards. He's got eight rebounds in this game, picking up right where he left off in the first half. And the Terrapins cannot allow the Cavaliers to get off the, the start they did the first half. That was 13 to nothing. Huh. Singletary had nine points in the first half. Adrian Joseph played well. He had eight. Got to shoot him, Mike. At the end of the shot clock. Or 
Maryland now willing to dive on the floor for those loose balls. Alley oops. Little out of sync to Kaner Medley. Quickly the other way, Singletary. Blocked by a Beckway. And look at that, Singletary steals it away. Never gives up, does he? He was smart not to challenge him the second time. He should not have challenged him the first time. Ball out of bounds. Let's take a quick look at our Bud Light stats. The stat that comes out to me, not only rebounds, but how about three-point shots? One for nine for Maryland in that first half. And that was one of the keys to our game. And look at the second-chance points. Look at Virginia ahead. But Maryland has to make some outside shots, and Maryland is getting out-rebounded. Strawberry drives. Jason Kane's now got nine boards. DJ's upset, Mike. He felt that was in and out. Maryland now has missed its last 10 shots going back to the first yeah. half. Reynolds. That's a big three. That's the first bucket here in the second half. He only played 11 minutes the first half because of foul trouble. And I agree with, I agree with you. That's one of the keys to this game. Gabby with a quick timeout. J.R. Reynolds has to stay out of foul trouble. And you're right. Maryland cannot afford Virginia to get out the kind of run they did to start this game. They put the lead back up in double digits at 11. No one ever said that. Where's the best place in New England to find a great paying job? Try looking under the hood of today's cars. There's state-of-the-art engines, computer technology, drivetrains, electrical systems, hydraulics. It all adds up to a great career as an automotive technician. Sound good? Then you're ready to live your passion and accelerate your future with training at the new Universal Technical Institute campus in Norwood, Mass. Hundreds of automotive technician jobs are available with great pay and real career paths. If your career is stalled, the automotive industry is in high gear. At UTI, you'll get the training you need close to home off of Route 1 in Norwood. UTI's alliances with top auto manufacturers mean you'll train hands-on with the best equipment. And here's the best part. At UTI, you can complete your automotive training in as little as one year. Contact us today, and we'll send you a free information kit. Live your passion. Accelerate your future. Universal Technical Institute, Norwood. Rivalry. In Boston, it's what baseball's all about. New York. Boston. Let the games begin again. Tune in Nesson for Reliving the Rivalry. Before the games begin for real, we're replaying great Sox-Yankees games from the Nesson archives. Reliving the Rivalry. Tuesday and Thursday afternoons on Nesson. Spring break starts early this winter on Nesson. It's fun in the Red Sox sun as Nesson brings you New England's most comprehensive and exclusive spring training coverage. Beginning February 17th, Sports Desk delivers 33 straight days of action from Fort Myers. Red Sox now in the Boston Globe Sports Plus both report from the fort. And in March, Nesson delivers nine Grapefruit League games. It's a 45-day spring break, and it's only on Nesson. Tonight's Virginia-Maryland matchup is being brought to you by the official corporate partners of the ACC, Geico, Chick-fil-A, and by Jeep. For Virginia, Jason Kane now credited with 10 rebounds in this game. Bobby, that's the third straight game he's been in double-figure rebounds. He is one point away from his second straight double-double in this game. Yeah, and you, I can tell you're really high on, it, on him, and rightfully so. So this is an amazing story. I don't know if it's going to continue, but right now, this is an amazing story what this Cavalier team is doing. There's Kane with yet another rebound. Bobby, double-figure rebounds in an ACC game. Uh, That's not easy to come by. You're 100% right. I, you know, I, again, you know, Virginia, great start the first half. Let's see. Let's see what they can do with this lead. If they, if they extend this lead, Maryland is going to be in real serious trouble. The largest Virginia lead in the game has been 14. Singletary, Strawberry fell down and he called for the ball. Got it into Kane. No basket. Offensive foul, Jason Kane. Mike, Maryland's really extending their defense. 
Didn't see that play. And they're going to watch it right here. Okay, let's see. The pass comes from Sean Singletary. Let's see. Yeah, you see that little hip move? It was, Tried to knock a Beckway out of the way. Yeah, it was slight. But it definitely was a little hip movement. Kaner Medley for three. He's had a tough night shooting. Kaner Medley. Just one for seven, and that was his first three-point attempt. And Mike, he has carried this team. I, you know, I don't have, you know, without him scoring, it's so difficult for Maryland to um, to, to be the team that they normally are. Kane being called over to the bench. I'm not sure if he maybe lost a contact. Returning That's what it is. And no, he got a little blood in the nose. That was it. And the blood had to come out of the game. Mike, I don't want to sound like a broken record to be redundant, but again, you, you have to consider what Chris McCray means to this team. The outside shooting and, and everything else. Maryland now 0 for their last 12. You're right, this is the kind of a game at the point of the game where McCray could really end the drought. But the bottom line is they don't have him and won't for the rest of the season. Jones, beautiful. That's what Maryland needs. They break the long ground with the three ball from Mike Jones. It's his second of the game. He's now got ten. Beautiful three, beautiful setup. They really needed that. Reynolds the other way. Look at a Beckway fight for the rebound. Here come the Turks. Well, Jones, a great job just to catch that. Then he threw it out off of Lorenus Mikulauskas. You, you have to throw skip passes against zones. Look at Gary. You talk about a fighter. He was livid at the start of this game. Kenny Abekwe now with eight rebounds. Gator Medley breaks loose. Beautiful. Found the opening. Point lead has been cut down to six. Hey, and Mike, that's why that that first half lead was so important at the end of that first half. Jr. a shooter, isn't he? Give Joseph a lot of credit for finding him. Yes, misses the turnaround. Joseph the rebound. Singletary the drive, great dish to Mikulovskis, even better defensive play by Ibekwe. He's got to hold on to that. Ibekwe was wide open, crowd wanted him to shoot. He's not going to shoot that. Garrison will, but not Ibekwe. If he didn't shot that, he might have found himself on the bench in a hurry. Oh, what a pass. Count it! How about Gist? No-look pass to Strawberry. They're starting to bust up Virginia's zone. Maryland down 11 in this half. They have climbed back in it. Great pass here. And one to DJ Strawberry. What is Sports Desk? Sports Desk is a half-hour sports news program focused on getting you the scores and bringing viewers the stories behind the teams. It's not just about the result, it's also about the drama that unfolds leading up to the final score. Nesson Sports Desk, the first word in New England sports. Nesson Sports Desk, your sports, your team, first and fast. Nesson Sports Desk, at a time that's right for you. Rivalry. In Boston, it's what baseball's all about. New York. Boston. Let the games begin again. Tune in Nesson for reliving the rivalry. Before the games begin for real, we're replaying great Sox-Yankees games from the Nesson archives. Reliving the rivalry. Tuesday and Thursday afternoons on Nesson. USA. It's the biggest music event of the year. Every week, the most exciting acts in the world, back to back to back, all in one show. Coming up this week, Lifehouse, Keisha Cole, Trace Adkins, Juvenile, and
and a whole lot more. CD USA, only on Direct TV, Channel 101. CD USA. Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 57 on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. One of those buckets is our Dodge drive of the game. Nick Kaner Medley taking it to the hole right here. Just two buckets in the game for Nick Kaner Medley, but if he can get going... If, if there's a clutch shot, he'll make it. He'll take it, and he'll make it. DJ Strawberry in double figures now at the foul line. Strawberry, a DJ couple of games ago, was held scoreless against Temple. But in the two games after that, has scored 14 points in each of those games. He's got 11 here. I, I love the way he plays the game. This far, here's that press. Maryland continues to hit his free throws. Almost coming up with a steal is DJ Strawberry. You want the ball in Sean Singletary's hands. Strawberry's got 42 steals on the year. Singletary. Just as I say that, he has a turnover. Well, the Maryland defense cranking up a notch. Mike, that's called the short corner, and that's the best place to trap an offensive player. A bucket here makes this a one-possession game. This is Maryland basketball, scoring points off of their pressure defense. Strawberry for three. Returning Joseph with the rebound. Virginia continues to hold the boards. Out-rebounded him 32 to 19. Sean just has a feel when to go fast, Mike, and when to go slow. That's something that's hard to teach, isn't it? Kane, another rebound. And Jason Kane will go to the line as DJ Strawberry fouls him. Second foul on Strawberry. And Kane, a free throw here, will give him a double-double for the game. He's got 12 rebounds and 9 points. I, I don't believe we have a most improved uh, award player in the ACC, do we, Mike? I don't think. Maybe we'll create one. You know, the Bobby Kremitz Most Improved Player <laughs> Award. Well, this guy's a candidate. <laughs> Three straight games of double-figure rebounds. There's a lot of candidates. How about Al Thornton? Oh, yeah. Hey, I saw him play Saturday, 37 Ooh. points in camera. So Kane now with a double-double, his second in a row. Number one in the ACC in offensive rebounding, Jason Kane. Here's Sterling Ledbetter. He's running the point now. Strawberry moves to that off-guard spot. And Virginia stays in that zone. Maryland's still not hitting any outside shots. Look at Nick Hustle. Maryland is two for 13 from three. Make it two for 14. Great look, great pass by Ledbetter. DJ really needs to knock that down. Bobby, you get the feeling that for Maryland to win this game, they're gonna have to hit some of those three balls. And we talked about that. Oh boy, turnover. Well, Kane passed one way, Singletary went the other. And that's what you love about DJ. He misses the three, but he comes back at the other end and plays great defense and causes a turnover. He's going to the bench. Mike Jones is into the game. Fourth strawberry. You see sitting down. Well, Mike could bust his zone up from the outside. We know that. Now they have two shooters in the game. Nick, Nick and Mike. Mike Jones has both of the three-pointers in this game for Maryland. The back way. Mikulowskis blocked it. Good on the held ball, possession arrow to Virginia. So the freshman, Larianus Mikulowskis from Lithuania, was the Central Virginia High School Player of the Year last year, went to the Blue Ridge School, which is in Charlottesville.
Reynolds, he's got some speed. To Mikulowskis. Found on the way up. And the freshman will go to the line. Gotta love it. Mike, we call that sideline break. Did you get the ball on the side and you take it the whole way? And you have to attack pressure. If it's not there, you don't do it. But there was a two on one. JR recognized he had the numbers. And Mikko Lapkus just went up strong and now he's on the free throw line. If there's been a hole in the freshman's game, it's been his free throw shooting. Just 50% on the year coming in. Good point. He's, he's not a very good free throw shooter, but I'm impressed with what this freshman has brought to this team. Nice job. He's all hot. Kids all hot. Now Virginia with a little pressure of their own. Again, Maryland just not hitting the outside shot. Two for 14 from first. Jones, a deep three. Set play. Well, that's his game, catch and shoot. But that one was way short. Good ball movement by the Cavs. Joseph baseline. And Gist has got it. That was a set play off the three. Boy, Mike, they can't hit anything. The threes, the drives. Dangerous time for Maryland, but they're, they're only eight point game right now, but a real dangerous time. Maryland's shooting has now fallen below 28% for the game. Huh. Well, I'm not sure that was a shot, a pass. Jones on the breakout. Big turnaround there. I'm not sure what it was either. But when you have an eight-point lead, you, you got to make sure you get a good shot off. And that was not a good shot by Joseph. Somehow, despite not hitting, Maryland has stayed close within six. Mer Maryland is so close to just taking this lead. But Bobby, they're four for 15 this huh. half shooting. Kaner Medley, great drive. And it's going to wave off. He waved off. Offensive foul on Nick Kaner Medley. And there's your man again. Jason Kane made the play. Got a little eye. Let's look at it. Does he have position? Looks like he does. Boy, Gary Williams, really hot. Virginia up six after the offensive foul. Mike Jones keeping Maryland close. Think you can handle Chad Johnson one-on-one? -on -one? Aren't you standing a little too close? Well, now you can bring Chad into your home with Fathead. I'm a fathead? You calling me a fathead? Like Chad, Fathead is big and bold with just a bit of attitude. Just peel and place in any home or office. Now that was cool. Fathead wall graphics are classic collectibles made for true fans only. You're gonna want one of these. Fathead can take a hit too. Printed on strong, durable vinyl, you can move Fathead over and over without damaging walls. Fathead, go big, go real. Too big and real for retail stores? Just visit fathead.com to find all your favorite Fathead teams and players. Officially licensed by the National Football League and Players Inc. Favre, Manning, Vic, Brady, Erlocker, and Chad Johnson. Don't I look good? Visit Fathead.com and let Fathead take over your room. Hey, I'm a fan. <laughs> Spring break starts early this winter on Nesson. It's fun in the Red Sox sun as Nesson brings you New England's most comprehensive and exclusive spring training coverage. Beginning February 17th, Sports Desk delivers 33 straight days of action from Fort Myers. Red Sox now in the Boston Globe Sports Plus both report from the fort. And in March, Nesson delivers nine Grapefruit League games. It's a 45-day spring break, and it's only on Nesson. It's a college road trip, Nesson style. We're dropping the puck on your weekend with Friday Night Ice. Center attack, score! Be true to your school every Friday night with Nesson's Hockey East Game of the Week. Slut score! Friday nights just got cooler. 
This week, UMass Lowell and you at 7 on Nesson. Every game ends with overtime. Your Bruins post-game show featuring game analysis, interviews, press conferences, and more. Stay tuned to Nesson, because every game ends with overtime. Need more ice time? At midnight on game nights, tune in Bruins in 2 for a special two-hour replay of the game. Keep track of your black and gold around the clock with Bruins in 2. Tonight's Virginia-Maryland matchup is being brought to you by the official corporate partners of the ACC, Altel, Food Lion, and by Bud Light. It's a six-point game here in College Park. Let's take a look at our Chrysler Jeep game summary. Boy, Maryland's just not shooting the ball well at all. 13%, and again, this I really felt this was a key to the game. But the good news, they're only down six points, and they're playing at home where they rarely lose. They had a rare, they won 14 in a row before they lost to North Carolina. And I don't expect them to lose two straight home games. 11 and 1 at home on this season. Again, as you said, that loss to North Carolina last year. Singletary. Oh, he drops it off beautifully for Mikolaskis. But good defense by the Turks. When Sean has his ball has the ball in his hand, those post guys have to be ready to receive the basketball. They have to have their hands ready, Kane. Mikolaskis, they got they have to be ready to receive a pass. Reynolds just into the game. Jones! Well, Maryland's playing some defense. Their shot might not be going, Mike, but they're playing some defense. And this is what Gary got to love. You got to love the effort. And sooner or later, the shot should fall. Keep playing defense, keep rebounding, and keep shooting. That's what you would tell this team. You've had that happen to you before, I know, Bobby, where you've had a team go ice cold but still be down only six down close, and I'm sure that's what Gary Williams is telling uh, I know it is. Gary said keep hustling, keep fighting. Defense, defense, defense. Don't worry about the shots. They will fall. Reynolds, great drive, J.R. Reynolds. Loved the way he took it to the hole. Loved it. He saw the opening and he went. Never hesitated. Parrish Brown just into the game. Foul on, I believe it's on Singletary. And that's his third. Parrish Brown, a junior college transfer from Chicago. Quick little guy, Mike, he's a jet. Backup point guard, he really could pass the ball, but a bad foul that time by Sean. Now, now we, talk, we talked about, it's funny, how we, we talked about the post foul trouble being the key for the Cavaliers, and now all of a sudden, their, their perimeter game is in serious foul trouble. Parrish Brown, who just came in for his first action, scores his first point. Brown's been pretty good at the free throw line, hasn't been there much. Six for eight on the year. Virginia's not deep at the wings. Gary Forbes um, transferred out before the season started, so they're, they're not real deep. Look at, look at Jason Kane come help out the pressure. Singletary, boy, he went down hard. He's got to get up. Watch Jason, he'll just pull him up. Should mention this uh, about Sean. He, he's had some hip problems. He's had some shoulder problems. And today, the shoot around, Dave Lato said this kid never quits. He come, comes ready to play every day. Wow, that was a tough bump he took on his injured shoulder. Dave Lato says he plays with pain and doesn't let him affect him. He's never had a player quite like that with the character and the heart of Sean Singletary. Yeah, and you know, he's been around some great players, but now Sean's coming out of the game. And now let's see, is he gonna go back in? Gotta come out, but he can't, go, can't come out long. Now the, now the pressure's really going to be on Jr. to handle the basketball. Good pass. Parrish Brown is on him, and as you said, Brown is extremely quick. Average 22 points a game last year in junior college. Deani drives.
Dropping on Jones. Oh, my. What a big bucket by J.R. Reynolds. That's his third three of the game. Oh, my. Reynolds is having a half. Talk about improved players in this league. Garrison. Kane blocked it. But Garrison stayed with it. You knew we were going to see a lot of block shots today, tonight. Oh, Mike, offensive foul. That's a killer. That's a killer. Fourth foul on J.R. You're right, Bobby. J.R. Reynolds has just picked up his fourth foul, and he had scored 10 points here in this second half. 15 on the game. What a, what a break from Maryland. Now, Sean comes back in the game. Deani must stay in the game, and J.R. must go to the bench. Robbed against. It's a five-point game. Brown is giving the Turks a lift. Kane. Deani's open. Nikolaskis over the back. And the momentum, you sense it right now, starting to shift a little bit to Maryland. Absolutely. If, if JR doesn't have four fouls, he's shooting that butt, that, that last jump shot. And he's been on fire. Dangerous time for the Cavaliers and a great opportunity for Maryland to try and take control of this game. They have the home crowd here. Virginia is not an experienced team. Only one senior, Billy Campbell, a walk-on on this team. And how about that drive by Akini and Beckwo? Maryland on a 6-0 run. It's a three-point game now. Single Terry, double team. Somehow gets rid of it. Great trap by Maryland. Great trap. Single Terry trying to do it his own. Strawberry blocked it. What a play by Strawberry, but Virginia got it back. And Beckway to Jones. In and out. You can't ask for a better shot. And a great rebound by Mama Diani. Dave Lato saying, hold it up, hold it up. He's not going to call timeout. Things have got hot here in the Comcast Center. Singletary. Virginia is now one for their last 11 shots. Dave Lato, uh-oh. And that's a block on Singletary. That's his fourth. Singletary and Reynolds now with four personal fouls. Eight minutes and 18 seconds left. Mikey, you talk about defensive intensity. The shot is not going for Maryland. But watch DJ on the defensive end. He just stays with it. Beautiful play, Maryland basketball. Strawberry for three. DJ Strawberry has tied the game for Maryland. It's our first tie of the night. Virginia has pulled timeout. It is a 9-0 Maryland run. How big was that bucket by DJ Strawberry, who we just said had played so great on the defensive end? Mike, we said keep shooting. And you know what? You got to admire him. He just stayed with it, wide open. He shoots it, nothing but net. And as you can probably hear in the background, that bucket has really brought this Comcast Center to life. Now, now Dave Lato's got some really difficult decisions to make. Let's see who he puts in the game. Sean has four. JR has four. Well, Bobby, if you're Dave Lato, you really can't afford to have both those guys on the bench. You're right. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's got to gamble. Let's see. He keeps keep Sean in the game. He holds JR off. Big momentum swing here. Remember that in the first half, Virginia had a 14-point lead. They led this game 13 to nothing at one point. Here comes that pressure. Deani is going to bring the ball up against Jones. Singletary playing with four fouls.
Singletary for three. A little strong. And the rebound by Abekwe. Foul is on Virginia. The momentum has changed in. Maryland has it. We're tied at 51. His presentation to the board was in an hour. And while he managed to keep that dry, well, he wasn't. Which is why he was pleased to discover that our selection of big and tall was not only extensive, but at prices that, well, wouldn't soak him. After all, he had enough of that for one day. You'll find big and tall sizes at the men's warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Bergeron, great shoot. Rebound, Raycroft dives. That'll get him going. Drill them. Shot, score! Bruins turn the other way. Huge hit. Shot, score! Bruins lead two to nothing. Who decides what the next big thing in TV is? Who judges which innovations bring TV to the next level? The answer is easy. You do. DirecTV never stops looking for ways to bring you the best TV possible. Maybe that's why we've rated higher than cable and customer satisfaction four years running. Putting our customers first, just another example of how DirecTV is rethinking the way television should be. Finally affordable LASIK. The LASIK Vision Institute is now offering dramatically low prices on high quality LASIK to make it more affordable to everyone. Our independent surgeons have helped hundreds of thousands of people see better. The latest FDA approved technology, including the latest in custom LASIK, is what you will find at the LASIK Vision Institute. All of this at a fraction of what other providers charge. Our LASIK procedures start at just $2.99 per eye. We would like to send you a free information kit that will answer all your questions about LASIK and show you how you can finance your LASIK procedure absolutely interest-free. That's right, 0% financing. Call now to get your free information kit. There is no obligation. Call us now at 1-800-358-5940. That's 1-800-358-5940. 1-800-358-5940. The LASIK Vision Institute. Experience. Commitment. Technology and affordability. DJ Strawberry has led this Maryland comeback on both ends of the floor. His coach Gary Williams loves his versatility. Yeah, DJ is like um, a, a great player that can play a lot of positions. And, um, it, you know, because he's playing a couple positions this year shouldn't take away from his ability as a basketball player. It's always hard on somebody when you, you switch them, but that's what we've had to do this year, especially with our guard situation. So DJ's done a great job. Hopefully next year he'll be settled down to be able to play one position as a senior. 14 points in the game for DJ Strawberry. And Akina Abekwe, who's had a great game on the boards, goes to the line now for the Maryland Terrapins. Abekwe only four points, but 12 rebounds in the game. for the first time tonight. Mike, I really felt, should Maryland take the lead, that's all they needed to do. We're, what, we're, what we're witnessing tonight is the heart and soul of a winning program. I think one of the things we're witnessing is a team that is showing the same fighting spirit of its coach, Gary Williams. I couldn't agree more. Maryland on a 12-0 run now for those free throws. Singletary, who has to stay in the game with those four fouls. And now his Cavaliers down two. And they desperately need a basket. And Golaskis back it in over Garrison. What a strong That's move it. by the freshman. He's dribbling. He's head faking. He is physical. He's, he's a mean guy. Tied for the second time tonight. Effect way. That's going to be an offensive foul on Akinna and Beckway. That's his third. It's another great job by 
the post players of Virginia of holding their ground. Yeah, you, ha you have to pull up. If the defense is there, let's see. Yeah, right there, you can see, that's a definite call. Excellent call. But galkine has got to recognize that and just come to a jump stop. That's the second charge tonight that Jason Kane has taken. He's had an impressive game. Oh, absolutely. Regardless of what Virginia does, but their program has come miles. Virginia trying to take the lead on this possession. Shot clock is under five. Singletary. Over Strawberry. The bank is open. DJ playing some defense. We talked about that. We talked about the matchup. DJ playing defense on Sean. Don't forget, Sean has four fouls. JR's back in the game. Both Virginia guards, four fouls. Strawberry again. He answers with the three, and he gives Maryland the lead. He's a winner. He's a winner. He's feeling it. Good coaching by Dave Blato. Now he's got his scoring guards in the game together, going down the stretch. This is fun to watch. Reynolds back in. Parrish Brown down with it. Jones, another breakout. Oh, he missed oh. the dunk. He tried to get fancy and missed the dunk. Oh, my. Oh, my. In a game like this, oh my, that my. could turn up costly. Oh. For his sake, I doesn't, I, I, for his sake, I really hope that play doesn't cost the Turks the game. Singletary oh, for three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. What a turnaround. Singletary. Now you see, Virginia, they got to stay in the zone because of the foul situation. Gary Williams just called a 30-second timeout, and Mike Jones is coming out of the game. Our Geico ACC moment, and sometimes it's not pretty. Mike, Mike, you know, this kid, he's just going up. He has the athletic talent to do that, but why? Why do that at this time in the game? Do that when you're ahead by 20. Oh, man. And then you come down at the other end. And, and you Sean see. Sean Singletary hits a big shot. And see, and exactly. And Mike Jones doesn't have a lot of experience, but why? Why at that juncture? And he he realizes it. Uh, I, again, for his sake, that, that would be a, a nightmare to have to live with that with that turnaround we just saw. Now Virginia up two. Returning to the Mike, this is why you love ACC basketball. Here you're a team that was picked last in preseason, and, and look where they are right now. Up two, with five minutes to go. And with five wins in this league. Strawberry, oh, he's been money. Three straight, last five minutes. Three straight. The kid doesn't want to lose. He refuses to lose. DJ Strawberry now with 19 points. That's his career high. His previous career high was 18 against Wake Forest. What a I, night for Strawberry. I really felt his injury last year really killed the Turks. He did not play against these Cavs last year. Garrison got a hand on it. And Garrison called for the foul. I tell you what, Lorenus Mikalakos, I tell you what, Mike, try and take the basketball away from him. I'm glad mean, we don't have five Lithuanians. Oh, man, I, I tell you what, I might have trouble pronouncing his name, but he, he can play. I love, I love his fight. He's Lorenus Mikalakos. <laughs> Good penetration by Singletary. Blocked. Garrison blocked it. What a block. What a defensive block. Both these teams have great shot blockers. Garrison baseline. Oh, Strawberry, great offensive board. And Beckway is there. And Maryland leads. Virginia trying to hang on. Both Reynolds and Singletary into the game with four fouls. Joseph can't hit. It'll belong to Maryland.
What a game here at College Park. 3.34 to go. Maryland up two over their big rival, the Virginia Cavaliers. Camel Country Television is all about family and friends in the outdoors. We hunt, we fish, dirt bikes, ATVs, bow hunting is my life. It's all about the kids. We call them camel kids. A camel kid is a kid that just loves to be in the outdoors. Camel Country Television is exciting, it's hot. Camel Country Television, every week, right here on Nest. It's worth it. There's a new league in town. ACC, the Atlantic Coast Conference, and we've got the hoops on Nesson. Twelve top teams, and BC's one of them. Dudley tried to finish, he does. The speed from Boston College getting up the floor. It's hard court hoops, ACC style, on Nesson. Sunday night, it's an ACC doubleheader starting with UMass at 5.30 on Nesson. Nesson makes it easy to follow the puck. Andy Brickley and Dale Arnold call you at home. Jack Edwards and Brick pick up the puck on the road. That'll get him going. Shot save, Koivinen! And Rob Simpson keeps an eye on it ringside. Now check it out. Studio host Eric Freed and Nesson analysts pick up the puck before it's dropped and put it in the net for the night. It's easy to follow the puck on Nesson. Just watch. Join Divers Down TV and host Mark Stanton for underwater adventure travel. Each week we explore the underwater universe from coast to coast and around the globe. No one brings the sport of scuba diving right into your living room like Divers Down TV. Strap on your fins and dive right in. Come on, the water's fine. In the nation, it's Red Sox season year-round. You need to know what's going on with your team, and you need to know now. So tune in Red Sox Now, Nesson's new weekly Red Sox program, featuring hot stove news, off-season signings and interviews, team updates, spring training previews, and more. Tune in Red Sox Now, Wednesday nights on Nesson, because you want your Sox, and you want them now. No matter what happens in this game tonight, there's no doubt that there's a new life in the Virginia basketball program. We talked to Coach Dave Leto about just that. Absolutely. You know, wherever you go, the, the, the people talk about it, and I think they're you know, starting to understand what we're trying to do as a, as a program, not just with this team. And you know, the crowds have been great. The students have, have bought into what we're trying to do and really taken hold of it. And so I think you know, once we get exactly where we want to be, it'll be a phenomenal experience. This is a team, Virginia, that lost by a couple last week at NC State. They're no longer getting content with uh, close losses on the road. They want to win here tonight. I tell you, Mike, you know, I've seen a lot of coaches come and go in this league. Got a pass to Jones, a little high for him. Good, good set play, but I, I can tell you, if, if this year is any indication of what Dave Lato is going to do at the University of Virginia, the Cavaliers fans have a lot to be looking forward to. Of course, they have that new building coming. The John Paul Jones Arena, it's going to be something. Mike Jones whistled for the foul. Second on Mike Jones. Seventh on the team. One and one. And so Virginia will go to the line now with a chance to tie this game. The foul's on 23. Mike Jones is It'll second. be Singletary. Seventh on the team. Singletary. On the season, 81%. In ACC games, 87% from the free throw line. Gotta love the sophomore. You, have, you just have to love this young man. Now 14 points to go along with six rebounds for Sean Singletary, the sophomore from Philadelphia. We're tied again. Mike, if either one of those guys fell out, I, I don't know if Virginia can win this basketball game. JR and, and Sean have to stay in this basketball game. Well, Singletary has the last seven points. And Beckway now has a double-double. 10 points and 13 rebounds. It's his third double-double of the season. Well, you just, you gotta love the effort of every player out here tonight. A 
Oh, what a battle by a Beckway. What a night he's having. Lost his starting job in the game against NC State. Got it back tonight as a career-high 14 rebound. And Mike Jones makes up for the missed dunk with a huge three-pointer. How about that? What about Gary Williams bringing him back in the game after that missed dunk? Largest lead of the game for the Maryland Terrapins and Mike Jones, third three of the night. May have been his biggest. Uh, I love the passing between these two guys, wide open. You, you have to get out there on him, but again, they're, they're in serious foul trouble. I think Gary Williams thinks like a lot of coaches. These are young people. They make mistakes. Oh, yeah. You coach them a little bit, and you send them back in the game. Yeah, great, great, great move by Gary. He, let, he took Mike out of the game, let him think about it for a few seconds, brought him in, and, and what an incredible three. Great basketball, great basketball game. Critical possession here for Virginia. And boy, Maryland, after shooting horribly, has really picked up their outside shooting recently. Nikolaskis and a Beckway is there again. What a night on the boards for a Kenny Beckway. Now Gary Sell, take their time, take their time. Virginia still sticks in the zone. Another three here could be the knockout punch. A Beckway. Oh! An 11-2 Maryland run. I believe would we have a goaltending call there. Mike, I'm not sure. Offensive goaltending. Offensive goaltending. Now Maryland, they're going to hold the clock. They're going to hold the ball. Take their time. You know, Mike, you mentioned early on with this win, Gary calls a timeout. You mentioned about with this win, Gary becomes the all-time winningest coach at his alma mater. But I tell you what, he's going to earn it, isn't he? <laughs> he is, and you were talking about them picking up their shooting, Bobby. Yeah. Maryland's hit their last four shots. You know, and, and I think that veteran coaches like Bobby Crimmins and Gary Williams think alike. And you were telling me that he was telling his team, hang in there. Hang in there, don't worry about the missed shots. They didn't, and they finally have started falling at the critical time of the uh, game. I, I really, I always enjoyed coaching against Gary. He's a great competitor. There were many times I thought he was going to have a heart attack down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he used to, you know, before he used to, he got different type shirts because he's always be sweating. You can always see his sweat marks. Well, Gary Williams tonight will, with a win, will pass Lefty Grizzell, and I think it's worth mentioning that Lefty Brazil is one of those coaches who made the ACC what it is. Absolutely. One of the great recruiters of all time. Tanner Medley on the drive. And it's going to be tough for Virginia now. Down nine, a minute 15 to go. And Mike, what we're seeing here is a, is a young program. Now, this is what Virginia has to go through. I mean, they, they have played a remarkable basketball game, but Mike, they just don't have the winning tradition to be able to go on the road at a place like Maryland and, and hold on to a lead. But it will come, Mike. Dave Lato continue to recruit. These, these, these players right here, they're all coming back next year. And this will be an incredible learning experience for the Cavaliers. It's been a tough half for Virginia. They've not shot the ball well. They've only scored 22 Thank points the entire Medley half. Shooting one and, one. and Kaner Medley to try to give Maryland a double-digit lead. At one time in the game, Maryland was down 14. <laughs> and you're right, Dave Lato has done a great job. and His team may fall a little short here at the end. This is a Virginia team I wouldn't want to play in the month of February. No, and, and you know, the, 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 remember this game, the last game of the year, the last game at University Hall, where Virginia played so many years of basketball, will be Virginia playing Maryland at University Hall. A Beckway at the block, Singletary fell hard. The, what a competitor Sean Singletary uh, yeah. is. And, and the shame, you know, Mike, we're going to have maybe a 10, 12-point score. And the shame of it, if, if somebody just wakes up tomorrow and sees this score, 
they'll have a complete different evaluation of what the game was really about. Reynolds. It's just not happening this half for Virginia. Held ball, possession arrow to Maryland. Our Hardy's play of the game. It was Mbekwe baseline. What a job he's done. 12 points, 15 rebounds. And that bucket, part of a big Maryland run here down the stretch. This is called, this is called staying with your game plan. Even though you shoot it poorly, it, this, this, this is what defense proves. You, any youngster watching this game, when you look at the shooting woes of the Maryland Terrapins, you would think they were going to lose this game by 10 points. But they played their hearts out defensively, they rebounded, and finally, finally, DJ got real hot, and everything turned around. Under a minute. And Kaner Medley, who hit his last two free throws back at the line. Kaner Medley hasn't been himself tonight, and I think one of the most important things that has happened to this Maryland team is they found a way to win without Nick Kaner Medley, who was only three for ten from the field. Good, good point, and, and you got to love that. You know, you know, Gary went to the NIT last year, broke that incredible string of NCAA runs, and you know where Gary wants to go this year. He wants to go to the big dance. And if, for that to happen, he had to win tonight. He had to. Well, they have Duke coming in here on Saturday afternoon. And it would have been tough to go up against Duke, having lost to Virginia here at home. Mike, they probably would not have had a chance. Had they lost tonight, they would not have had a chance against Duke. But now they will. And this crowd will be a tough ticket for that Duke-Maryland um, uh, game. And that's always been, a, traditionally, a great game. Yes. And, and, and don't forget, you know, Duke will be coming off of the North Carolina game uh, tonight. So, and this place, will be, this place will be a madhouse. By the way, what do you think of that game tonight? Well, you know, Duke, Duke has dodged the, the bullet. You know, for, for the league's sake, I would like to see somebody beat Duke because it would help the overall league. But you know Mike and you know Duke, and they will be ready to play basketball tonight. Um, I, I worry about the young guards, the, the, the freshmen at North Carolina. I, I love what Roy has done with that team. It, it, it'd be really, I can't wait to get back to my room as soon as this is over. I'm gonna kiss you goodnight. No, not really kiss you goodnight. <laughs> Please. And I'm running back to my room, get my nice little sandwich or pizza, and I'm gonna sit back and enjoy one of the great rivalries in college basketball. Hey, before you leave, how about doing us a favor and, and talking to your former coaching counterpart, Gary Williams, about becoming the all-time winningest coach here oh, at Maryland. Oh, That'll be fun. I'll be glad to talk to him because he's going to win. Now, if he loses, I don't want, I don't want any, be near, anywhere near him. You, you, ought to, you ought to see we play golf sometimes, and if he misses a short putt, that putter boy, you better duck your head because, because that, that putt is coming. In. It's not going to stay in his hands. <laughs> well, Virginia's still fouling, still trying to give this a shot. Forty-three seconds left. And the crowd is starting to chant, Gary, Gary. Kenny Beckway, who has had one of the best games of his career, certainly rebounding the ball, career high 15 rebounds, 12 points, third double-double of the season. Returning for the Cavaliers to J.R. Reynolds, 44, Sean Singletary. Now we've got Bobby now in interview position, ready to go. You'll want to stick around for that. Mike, I might have to jump on and into this game here. <laughs> you look like you're ready to come in. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Coach, you look great. You look like you're ready to go in the game. That's I, what I think. I, I love this position. <laughs> All right, I like my position over here, okay? Here's Steve Bouchon, the owner of the Ravens, looking down at Coach Cremins. 
Get ready to go into game here in just a minute. James now, gets for two. Talking from one coach to another. James Gist has played well tonight. Bobby, I think this is a Maryland team that this win could really define their season, don't you? I mean, uh, absolutely, Mike. They earned it. They really had a fight after the incredible jump start by the Cavaliers. This is a great comeback win. But a, lo a loss tonight would have just really put a damper on the whole season to uh, lose here. Uh, absolutely. It would have been a it would have been a it would have ruined the entire season. A three-pointer for J.R. Reynolds. Reynolds hits his fourth three of the game. He's played well offensively. And, and again, Mike, I'm so happy for Mike Jones because that missed dunk could have really cost him the game. Gary Williams says, hold off. That's it. Dave Leto not going to foul. And Gary Williams getting congratulated as he's now the all-time winningest coach. As you can see, cameras are mobbing all around him. We're going to let Bobby Crimmins present it with the game ball here in a minute. That was a nice gesture of Ted Valentine to come over, the uh, one of our officials, to give Bobby the ball, and he'll present it to Gary in a moment. It's Gary Williams. What a job he's done. He won a national championship here. He's number two among active ACC coaches. And... Makes his way through those photographers. He's going to come his way over. And Bobby, probably first, you're going to present him that ball. Let's go to Bobby Cremens. Okay, thank you, Mike. Gary, congratulations. You now become the winningest basketball coach uh, at your alma mater and your captain. Nick, come on in here, Nick. He has a little present he wants to give you. Coach, this is for you. Congratulations. We're sorry it took us a couple games, but, you know, greatest coach in the history of Maryland and Hall of Fame coach, and it's been a pleasure. And congratulations. A lot of emotion there. G Gary, you're going to remember this one. Virginia got off to a tremendous start. Yeah, this team had a fight back. It showed the, the heart and guts of a winning program. Virginia is really a good team. They, they've proven it already before this game. And they came out with a lot of poise. And uh, we were a little flat. This is our, you know, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. And I think we got shocked by how well Virginia played. And we knew the level, they showed us the level we had to play at if we wanted to win the game. And, you know, we did a great job after that. Gary, you had a lot of shooting woes. Uh, what were you telling your team? You just, it just seemed like you could not make a jump shot. Well, we just kept shooting, you know. I mean, there's nothing, you know, Bobby, from coaching. There's not much you can do. We had the right guys in the right spots, and, you know, they're going to make some eventually. And we did a good job the last 15 minutes of the game with the offense. What, what does it mean to you personally to be the winningest coach at your alma mater? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I never really thought of it that way. This game was too big for us tonight to worry about anything else, but to tie Lefter to Zell is a big honor. Well, my, uh, Gary, this will be a game to remember, but you can't remember it too long. You got the Dukies coming in here next. <laughs> We're just like all those other guys. <laughs> Back to you, Mike. Yeah, Bobby, you know how to get this crowd fired up here, don't you? Again, our congratulations to Gary Williams. Emotional, as you might expect. We'll be back to wrap things up as the crowd still chants. Gary, Gary, the winningest coach ever here in Maryland. Today on ACC All Access, you think you've had some bad travel experiences?